This tutorial describes the medical calculators component in Brillions. First, we will quickly review the available calculators, and, how they work. Then, we will take a detailed look at the, Sequential Organ Failure Assessment Calculator. Frequently, it is referred to as the, SOFA Calculator. The medical calculators are widely used in clinical practice and need no introduction. We can find many calculators on the internet. There are many dedicated apps for smartphones. All internet and smartphone-based calculators require the user to open the web page, or, the app, and, manually enter all the required data elements. For CPRS users, there are many drawbacks to such calculators. 1. The user has to look up the data in CPRS. 2. The user has to manually enter data in the calculator which takes time. 3. There is risk of transcription errors. 4. The results of the calculations must be manually typed into CPRS. The medical calculators built into Brillions avoid all these issues. In most cases, with one click, the calculator automatically loads the data elements it needs. The results are displayed almost instantly, and, can be easily copied to CPRS. Let us open the medical calculators form, and, take a look at the user interface. To open the Medical Calculators form, please click on the Medical Calculators button on the bottom panel of the main form. This opens the Calculators form. Like all features in Brillions, the user interface is quite simple. The user interface for each calculator is placed on its own dedicated tab page. As you can see, Brillions includes nearly all the commonly used calculators. The data needed to perform the calculations is placed on the left half of the form. In most cases, the data needed to perform the calculations is automatically loaded with a button click. For the missing data, or, to calculate with different values, the user can enter data manually, and, click a button to do calculations using the manually entered data. The right half of the form displays buttons to do the calculations. The user can click a button to automatically load the needed data, and, perform the calculations. In addition, the user can manually enter or edit data, and, click a button to perform the calculations. Depending on the type of calculator, there is appropriate user interface to display the results. All calculators provide easy-to-use user interface to copy, and, paste the data into CPRS. Some calculators provide a link to the informational resources on the internet. Now, let us take a detailed look at how to use the SOFA calculator. The acronym SOFA, S-O-F-A, stands for Sequential Organ Failure Assessment. The SOFA score is a calculated value to estimate the risk of poor outcomes in the patients with sepsis. The higher SOFA score correlates with higher mortality. Please review the literature to understand the proper use and the limitations of the SOFA score. To use the SOFA calculator, Click on the SOFA tab at top of the form. The left half of the form displays blanks for clinical data. In addition to clinical data, the SOFA score requires Glasgow Coma Score. The user interface for the Glasgow Coma Scale is on the right side in the upper half. First, click on the Load Clinical Data button to load the clinical data. This button is on the right side, in the lower half. Within a few seconds, Brillions loads all the data it can find, and, fills the data fields. Please take a look at the lab, blood pressure, oxygen level, and, the pulse oximetry data fields. These drop-down boxes provide the historical data which can be selected and used for calculations. Of course, if there is no recent data, the respective fields will remain blank. Such a field can be filled manually. Frequently, the oxygen level is not available because the patient does not have an ABG test. In such a case, if the oxygen saturation is available from a recent pulse oximetry value, the calculator will use it to estimate the oxygen level. 
the calculator cannot automatically determine whether the patient is on a vasopressor agent. If you already know the answer, great. If not, you can look it up without having to go to CPRS. If you already know the answer, please make proper selection in the drop-down box. Otherwise, click on the green question mark button next to the drop-down box with the heading, Is patient on vasopressor agents? This displays the recent vasopressor-related orders. Please review the orders, then close the display panel using the button at the top of the panel. Now, we have data to make the appropriate selection in the drop-down box. Similarly, the calculator cannot automatically determine whether the patient is on oxygen, or the administration rate, or the modality. Very likely, you already know if the patient is on the supplemental oxygen, or the mechanical ventilation. If not, click on the green question mark button, next to the drop-down box with the heading, Is patient on supplemental oxygen? This displays the recent oxygen-related orders. Please review the orders, then close the orders display panel using the button at the top of the panel. Now, we have data to make the appropriate selection in the drop-down box, and to select yes or no for whether the patient is on mechanical ventilation. The Glasgow Coma Scale-related questions are shown in the drop-down boxes at the top of the right half of the screen. Please make appropriate selections in the three drop-down boxes. The score is updated as you make those selections. Great! At this point, we have entered all the needed data. Now, click on the Calculate SOFA Score button on the right side, in the lower half. Instantly, Brillion's displays SOFA Score, and details about the contribution of each element to the total score. If there is any missing data, it is clearly indicated in the results. To copy and paste results in CPRS, please click on the Copy and Paste Options button below the text box which displays details of the SOFA score. Once you are familiar with the calculator, the entire process takes 30 to 45 seconds. This is many times quicker than using the SOFA calculator on the internet or on a smartphone. Plus, there is very little manual data entry, thus, a low risk of data entry errors.